no staffed. But it's done now. Look, I couldn't risk going to prison. I have to think of Jack. She firebombed a car and you lied for her. I was trying to protect her. Well, he's blackmailing you. Why don't you just tell the police? Look, I can't prove it's blackmail. And if I tell him, they'll know what me and Abby's done. Yeah, well, they might go easy on you, eh? For coming clean. Oh, and what if they don't? So what, she has a nice little bonfire and I lose my business? No, it's just the premises. We still own the company. We just pay rent instead of a mortgage. We'll manage. We? I don't know what I'm going to do about all this, but there ain't no we anymore. to work, but you want to chat, you know where I am. You can't put your life on hold for a boy. He's not a boy. And I want to be with him. You know, like a real couple, they don't, like, stop their lives for one another. They build something together. But there has to be sacrifices as well. well yes, if it's a compromise, but what's Daniel giving up? He's already lost everything. That doesn't mean you have to as well. This could be the start of something huge for you. Don't waste your talents. Right, OK, if I really am so talented, then my career can wait, but Daniel can't. Oh, darling, the way you talk, it is so blinkered. It scares me. It reminds me of how you used to speak about Nathan. I cannot believe you've actually just said that. Daniel is nothing like no, Nathan. I'm sorry, I just, I mean, the way you talk about him, it's like you put him above everything else. Except I'm not. I'm putting what I want first. Well, then you need to look at the bigger picture. I am. And right now, I'm investing in Daniel. A job can wait. Right. If you really are as strong as you say you are, then you can survive a few miles apart. Do not throw away your future. The only reason you want this place anyway is because the fumes from the pub next door would keep you off the booze. Well, that don't make any sense. Uh, Whatever. What are you trying Whatever. to say? Whatever. You know what? You were never the fastest donkey in the derby, were you? Look, we need this house more than you do, right? You've already got a flat. Yeah, well, we need a house because there's more of us. Well, Oliver's only little. Ol Oliver too. Why are you talking about? Not Oliver. No, you weren't. You were talking about the cat and dog, weren't you? Well, they need a place to live in all, you know. Unbelievable. Did you hear that? She cares more about the animals than she does about Steve's flesh and blood. That is unbelievable. Yeah, well, just leave me out of this. Peter, what do you want a house for anyway? I mean, you're nearly at retirement age. Why don't you just go with Dad to Shady Pastures or whatever it's called? Tracy, please. And then when Matron brings you a nice cup of tea at that retirement village, you better hope I haven't sprinkled a little something into Look, it. Look, just stop it, will you, both of you? Everything OK? Anything I can do? Well, I don't unless you know of a way of me selling this house to one of these two without either of them uttering another word. Actually, I might have just the thing. Well, what about next week? Oh, sorry, love, I'm covering the cabin. And I'm in the salon. Week after? Ah, oh, pub. Too bad, Sean. Well, they're going to be too old to come by the time one of you's free to help me. Sorry, Pet, but, you know, we both have two jobs. Mm, talking of which, I need to get to the pub now. Yeah, I've got to be heading off. You, you OK with the little ones? Yeah, I'm fine, yeah. You go on. See ya. Thanks. Sorry, I couldn't help but overhear but we'll be here next week. We could help with your four, couldn't we? Yeah. Are you sure? Of course. Maybe we could pick up some tips. We only have to deal with a quarter of what you have to. Oh, there is an act to it. Oh. Yeah. Basically, what you do is you just do what you'd normally do, but you do it four times. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen you around at any of the other local baby growth. No, this is my first one. Really? We must do more. We're doing baby yoga tomorrow, aren't oh, we? Yeah. You should come. Oh, I don't think they're up to yoga. <laughs> you do the yoga while holding on to them. I don't know how that's going to work with quads. We'll help. Take it in turns. It's great for bonding. Yeah, all right, then. Ta. Great. <laughs> come on, then. Do you live far? No, just, just down the road there. Huh? Wasn't expecting guests. What can I get for you? Molotov cocktail, hand grenade. I'm sorry, I messed up. I ate myself, but please don't take it out on Kevin. Oh, I know this is your fault. I just don't understand why he's lying for you. 
If I could find a way to take all the blame, I would. Yeah, well, you can. Tell the police, take your punishment. If I do that, Kev will go down with me for giving me the alibi. Oh. Great, the pair of you. I'd ask who's looking after the garage, but it's clear neither of you used to care about my business. Look, you've got weird or so. I've heard enough. You want to see what I've been doing? Yeah. And look, I've been working out if I can stretch this out for the rest of the week to feed the girls, cos, let's face it, don't know where my next pay packet's coming from, do I? Ray only wants the buildings. Well, that's easy for you to say. They're not your buildings. How do we know we can trust this guy? We don't. No, we don't. So forgive me of thinking of ways to protect my girls. I know some people get rid of the kids for a sign of trouble, but not me. Ty, I know you're angry, but that's not on. No, Kev, it's fine. I should go. Look, this is between me and you. Well, I wish that was true, but this is her doing. Yeah, I know she's made a mistake, but it's me who's brought it to our door. And that's the bit I don't get. Why? Because I love her. There you go. Got him? Yeah. All right, he's all ready. Bag's all packed. And, oh, his buggy is downstairs. Looking forward to your trip to the park? Yes, he is. Thanks for doing this. Gives me a chance to get my stuff done. I've got stag do to organise and a best man yeah, speech to write. Yeah, I'm doing this for Bertie, not for you. Right. Is, um, Bethany around? No. No, she's not. But if you're thinking about getting in touch, then I suggest you do. Even if it's just a text, whatever. She misses you. Right, well, I think in the future we should do this in the street, yeah? Come on, Bertie, let's go. Do you need a hand getting him down the stairs? No, or... I don't need any help from you. Service was a bit slow today and we didn't have the paneer you wanted, so this one's on the house. Thank you. My pleasure. Which one, Charlotte again? No, oh, the, the one that never shuts up. Mm. <laughs> What's the gossip? I was just telling Alia that Charlotte hasn't laid an egg in a fortnight. She's not too old yet, so it's a worry. Yeah. Any chance of a hand? Because you see those two? I had to comp their meals. Why? First, we ran out of paneer. These things happen. And then they were complaining about the bad service. Oh, it's not been that bad. Well, time obviously flies when you two are catching up. No mind, it's done now. Ooh. Oh, Gwen, are you all right? Oh, I tweaked my back when I was moving the sofa this morning. Why were you moving the sofa? <sighs> to vacuum underneath. The dust that gathers there plays havoc with Jeff's allergies. You don't blame me. I told you not to move it on your own. Oh! OK, that's it. Come on, back home. No, it'll pass. It'll pass quicker if you rest. Jeff's right, Gran. You should go home. Fine. I'll get my things. Right, then. Let's try not to lose any more customers today, shall we? I'll never get used to finding strange businessmen in the back room. Sorry? The B&B guests. There's a new one every day. Oh, right. Why, wow, what's so strange about them? Well, the one I've just spoken to says he's an internet hobbit, I think. Do you mean troll? I don't know. Maybe. He says he was a digital Bilbo or something. Go and ask him if he's got a business card. <sighs> Can you divorce your stepsister? Chase is being her usual delightful self, is she? You should have heard the tactics she was using. Unbelievable. Actually, no, tactics. That's just too nice a word. They're just insults. She fights dirty, all right. Listen, could you be through in the town? What did Ken say? Yeah, right, uh, about that. You did tell him we pulled out, didn't you? It's just that Adam suggested sealed bids, right? Uh, I said yes. I just don't want to see Tracy ripping me dad off, that's all. So the exact opposite of what we'd agreed, then? Hmm? I'm sure he said digital billboards. Digital billboards. Billboards. Look, his company makes them big digital advertising hoardings. Oh, well, me talking to him about Gandalf for ten minutes must have really confused him. I'm sure he gets it all the time. Uh, two orange juices, please, love. Hello. Hey, mate. Hey. 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 Did you hear back from the course? Yeah, um, can we go back to the flat? Said no, didn't they? Never mind. There's plenty of other courses. Daniel. What? Take it easier. 
What do you mean? Well, what if Beth was a walk-in? That's what I mean. Well, what if she was? Well, it's a pretty public place, right? That's all I'm saying, thanks. Beth, my girlfriend has had some bad news. He's telling me that I can't put my arm around her in public because of what the neighbours might think. I don't believe this. Come on, Bethany, we're going. So have you told her? No. Why not? I'm scared she won't say it back. I'm scared she thinks she'll have to because of what I've did for her. This is a mess, I know, but what would you do to keep Fizz out of prison? Well, that's different. We've been together for years. We've got a family and everything. Yeah, and that's what I want for me and Abby down the line. <gasps> oh, wow. You have fallen for her, haven't you? I mean, what does he even want with a garage, this guy, anyway? I don't know. He's probably taking it because he can. But is he taking the arch, too? Yeah. Oh, great. That's Fizzy's job and all. No, nothing changes for now. Gary stays there, keeps paying us the rent. Only ends up in Ray's pocket at the end of the month. Look, I don't need this stress in my life. Look, you own 30%. Maybe I can give you some of mine, make it up to 50. 50% of a dead business as soon as Ray decides to pull the trigger. Great. OK, then I can... Looking to buying your out completely, maybe, but I'll have to move some money around, if that's what you want. No, that's not what, what I don't know what I want. Look, I know you don't owe me anything, but after all we've been through... Yeah, well, that's just it. After all these years building up this business together, and now you're asking me to lay it on the line for Abby. No, no, not for her, for me, for Jack. Look, I know I've ruined everything, and I'm asking you to take a bullet for me, but you know I'd take one for you. Please, mate. Believe that, eh? Peter's got some cheek. From what I hear, he was really not having an affair when he was married. Uh, just ignore them. Sorry, just tired. I'm tired of living on a street where everyone's against us. Yeah, me too. Sorry, you wanted to talk about your course, didn't you? Um, yeah. You were right. I didn't get in. <sighs> Idiots. You'd have been brilliant. But don't worry, there'll be plenty more opportunities. Yeah. And in a way, I'm a little bit pleased. Oh. Not because I don't think that you're good enough, or that it won't actually happen for you one day, but, well, I'd miss you. We'd still see each other, though. Yeah, but not as much. I mean, you've seen the way that everyone is with me. You are the only person around here that I can count on. Well, except for Bertie. But he's not much of a conversationalist. Ooh. Uh, Wilbraham stables to the allotments? Yeah, I'll send someone out. Yeah, yeah, the driver will help you with the luggage. What do you mean, unorthodox? Uh, absolutely not. I don't care how good a fertiliser it is, you are not putting two bags of horse manure in the back of one of my cabs. Thank you. Cheek of some people. We're not the only ones up to their ankles in Duda. Do you think Tyrone will sell up? No chance. Oh, well, then what? Oh, back to me wearing sweatpants and tabards and group showers in the morning. Oh, Kevin will sort it. He's not one to be bullied. You don't deserve this. Look, he was the one who gave the daft alibi. It's not your doing. Kev. But there's something else. What have you done? Ray told me that if I slept with him, he'd destroy the evidence. Did you? No. Hmm, well then. No, but I was gonna, till he dropped the act. He was just doing it to humiliate me. Oh, wow. Well. Don't. Wow. Well, all credit to Kevin for standing by, but then I, it makes sense, I suppose. Oh, no, I haven't told him. I was too scared of what he'd say. Why, why would it make sense? Because. Pat did something similar to Anna, except she went through with it, and no one believed her, I didn't believe her, and Kevin stood by her. I didn't know that. Mm. Three cars. Gemma! Shh! I've just got them all to sleep, all of them. What are you doing? Yoga! Oh, I thought you were dead. 
Well, it's called the corpse pose. And why are you doing it? Because I'm taking a quad to another group tomorrow. Baby yoga. So today went well, then? Yeah. It was all right. Thanks for sorting it for me. I told you it'd be good. How come you didn't pop in on the way past? Oh, I totally forgot. I got talking to some new friends from group. That's who I'm going baby yoga with tomorrow, Imogen and Vanessa. Mm. You made some friends? Well, yeah. Imogen's house backs onto our ginnel. Mm. I'm sorry I didn't pop in. No, oh, it's fine. It's good that you're meeting new people. Yeah. Anyway, leave me be because I need to practice this. I don't want to look an idiot tomorrow. I'm really glad that you had a nice time. No, it does. You need to know what kind of person I am before you sign your life away. It's all sorted. What do you mean? It means you're standing on my property. You've sold it to him. There you go. One pilau rice. Sorry about that. Mm. I think I'll have a little tub of ice cream, you know, for my trouble. Of course. Jeff, can I get a tub of ice cream? Sure. And can you please double check the takeaway orders before you bag them? Tracy's had to come back because she was short of pilau rice. I put two in the bag. Yeah, she ordered three. I took the order myself. That's a two. It's a three. Well, where's the bottom of it? It looks like you just trailed off. Uh, do you think I could just take the ice cream before you bring a handwriting expert in? Cheers. See ya. Don't worry. You're just a bit rusty. We'll get up to speed. Don't patronise me. There's absolutely nothing wrong with my work. I think those customers from earlier would disagree. They've left a rather nasty review online. And I love your grant, but I don't think she quite fits the description young waitress, do you? This means nothing. People love writing bitchy stuff on the internet. You should know. How are Carla and you getting on these days? <laughs> Look, Jeff. I don't like you, and I'm pretty sure you don't like me either. But I'm here to do a job. And so for the sake of my clan, I suggest we keep things professional. OK? I can if you can. Fizz will be home soon with girls. I can't wait to tell her what I've done. Cheers, mate. I owe you. I've done this for you, you know. You better be worth it. Tell Miles to give me a call once he's looked these over. Now, uh, didn't you have something to tell your boyfriend here? It can wait. Didn't sound like it earlier. <laughs> Sounded quite important, actually. Oh, come on, Kev, let's go on. Oh, what's he talking about? Oh! I know. Is it that you offered to sleep with me to make me forget all about this? What? That's... That's not what happened! Oh, yeah. Practically jumped into bed with me. You want to keep an eye on this one? <sighs> I just want this out of the way so you lot aren't still arguing at my wedding. It's an arms race. Yeah, well, if Tracy wants the house more and she can outbid you, she will. That's why I think seal bids are best for Grandad. Tracy won't know what you're offering, so she'll only go as high as she can. There you go, mate. So, come on, then. What shall we offer? You still want to do this? I just want to see Tracy ripping me dad off, that's all, you know, for less than the going rate, you know. A going rate we can't afford. Well, unless we could find out how much Tracy's prepared to pay. Yeah, yeah. Peter, leave me out of this. I've got caterers to organise, suits to pick up. Let's do it. Let's put an offer. You sure? Mm. I think I know a way that everyone can get what they want. Yeah, got a wedding to pay for. 
Do you know what? I don't mind because, um, yeah, my career is important to me. I'm just lucky that I'm with somebody like Adam who understands that and supports me. Wow. Subtle. Mm. So have you, um, have you spoken to Daniel then? Yes. I'm assuming if he's caring for you at all that he's asked you to take the job? Well, it's not his decision and I'm not taking it. You can't turn this down. Yes, I can. What, so Daniel's happy for you to throw this chance away? No. He only knows about the course. He doesn't know about the job. I didn't want him being all selfless. You need to tell him. Oh, no, Mum. I don't. Please, just listen to me. Was he lying? Yes! So you never said you'd go to bed with him? Let me just tell you what happened from the start. So he did? He says you'd sleep with him? He blackmailed me. He showed me the evidence and threatened to go to the police. I did it for you. How can he show me gratitude? Nothing happened. He was just playing with me. Sick. Yeah, but you was ready to do what he wanted. What choice did I have? He could have put you in prison. And what if he wasn't pretending? Would you have gone through with it? Does it matter? Yes! So how come it was okay when Anna did it? What? Eileen said Phelan did the same thing and you were okay with her. That was different. How? For a start, I wasn't seeing her at the time. And for secondly, I don't need to explain myself. It's ancient history. I can't believe I sold my business for you. I was ready to sell myself for you. You can see yourself out. <laughs> To some happy families and celebrating Christmas means a photo shoot for Sam and Billy, of course, in the new series of The Mummy Diaries, beginning next on ITVB. Here on ITV Next, Vivian and Mark plan their trip to India, but her kids' private lives continue to unravel in new drama Flesh and Blood. <laughs>